We started the One Boot Ranch back in 2015. It really wasn't much of a ranch back then. It was just a piece of raw land, 17 acres. Uh, I was just looking for something to diversify my retirement portfolio, and I thought, you know, why not land? One thing about me uh, is I really love working with my hands, something I didn't really get to do much in my professional job is in the corporate environment. You're not a lot of hand working. It's more just analytics and looking at reporting. Started my ranch with four, actually four head of cattle and I got up to 20. You know, I want to get to the point where I'm having maybe four to five calves a year. And I, I actually started my own uh, beef line now. It's uh, one boot beef. I um, sell by the steaks or I even sell by half cow. Uh, my wife, uh, she's really into organic gardening, which I help her with that as, as well. We, we, we also raise chickens. And last week we actually had, we made a dinner and everything we ate for dinner, we actually raised here on the, on the farm. We had, we had steak, we had vegetables. I uh, actually became an amputee on a motorcycle. I got hit on the side. I just remember waking up in the hospital and the doctor looked at me and said, uh, uh, Greg, uh, you were in a motorcycle accident and you uh, lost your leg. I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty much gone. So th the accident happened in July and I got my prosthetic delivered to me in October. You know, I, I didn't let it get me down. I just, that was my goal to get right back into the prosthetic. Uh, being an amputee for 13 years, I've gone through some processes uh, throughout the years. And I'll tell you, when I stumbled upon Sola, um, there was something about this company. They, they made me feel like an individual. I didn't feel like I was a number. Tailored my leg to my needs. Some, you know, they, some of the first questions they were asking me, what, what's your intent? Where do you want to be in five years? I wanted to give myself a reason to get up in the morning, something chores that I have to go do. Things like feeding the cattle, feeding the chickens. Um, I think that's so important as an amputee to stay active. The way I look at amputation is like losing my hair. I mean, it's just, it's just the cards I'm playing with. I, I got to deal with that, you know? It's just every individual in, in the world has issues they're dealing with. We all do. Mine just happens to be more visible. It's something I, I just didn't let it stop me. Don't be a victim, you know? I mean, we, you get one life. I mean, live it to your fullest.